I'm fishing today with a really, really low barometer. The barometer today is only 1,002, which is super low for Cape York. Much lower than that, we start to get cyclones because I want to talk a little bit about low barometric pressure and the myth, and I believe it is a myth, of no fish on a low barometer. So stay tuned. Oh yeah. Can I go around this or what? Yeah, I'll go around. You know what they say anyway, rain brings down the monsters. <laughs> oh, there you go, gorgeous little fish. So is it really fair to blame a poor fishing trip on a low barometer? Well, the science doesn't really match up and I honestly think there's a lot more to it than just that. Oh, get out of there. Most anglers are taught that the higher the atmospheric pressure, the better the fishing is going to be. The average atmospheric pressure measured in hectopascals is 1,013. Atmospheric pressure fluctuates between roughly about 1,000 and 1,025 at sea level. It can be a little bit lower and can also get a little bit higher, but that's a rough range that we get. With 1,013 being the average, anything under 1,013 is a low pressure system and anything above is a high pressure system. We don't feel the pressure on our bodies, but this is a significant amount of weight. The higher you go in the atmosphere, the lower the pressure will be. Think about air being small particles that are packed really tight together at sea level, but as you go higher in the atmosphere, the particles thin out and the air becomes a lot lighter. The opposite occurs underwater. The surface of the water is basically equal to atmospheric pressure, but for every metre you go down, the pressure almost doubles. So we can have a little bit of an idea on how pressure works on water, I've got a, just a normal bottle of water here, and what I've put inside it is a couple of matchsticks heads. Now, uh, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna squeeze the side of this uh, water bottle, plastic water bottle, so it's gonna increase the amount of pressure that's actually in the bottle, and watch what happens to the match heads. So as I squeeze the bottle, you see that match head just falls up and down the water column there. Now it's got right down to the bottom, and as I release the pressure, it floats up to the top again. Squeeze again. So this is the kind of effect that water pressure has on fish as well, because with them being buoyant as well, the different pressure is going to get them to float different areas of the water column. So another little experiment you can do, I take a, a champagne flute here, I fill it up to the top, and I just take a, a playing card, or any piece of cardboard will do, and I turn that flute upside down on that card and I release the card, the card is holding all the water in. The reason being is this is not enough water to outweigh the atmospheric pressure. So the atmospheric pressure is pushing that card up against all that water pressure. And if I release the card, obviously all the water drops out. That just shows that there is quite a bit of atmospheric pressure that we can't really feel, but it's a weight and a force that is occurring all around us all the time. A low pressure system will draw a lot of moisture into it, and then the results in unsettled weather, lots of wind, lots of rain, really uncomfortable weather for fishermen. The monsoon trough is a line of low pressure at sea level that brings solid, persistent rain to Northern Australia. You can see at the time of filming this, the monsoon trough is sitting just below Weeper, and most of the rain that occurs during the monsoon is just above the trough line itself. So weep is getting smashed at the moment and the barometer is really low and the fishing should be terrible. The reason why anglers believe that it's no good fishing during a low barometer is that a low barometer increases the gas in a fish's swim bladder, causing it to expand and make the fish feel really bloated. 
puts the fish off the bite, but the opposite occurs when the barometer rises. But I have a bit of a problem with that theory because water is 800 times denser than air. Therefore, at sea level, a barometer of 1,013 may drop to 1,000 hectopascals and be considered a low atmospheric pressure, but the fish will only need to swim down a little over 10 centimetres before the pressure is back up to 1,013 hectopascals. There's no doubt that pressure does have an effect on fish, but they can very quickly move to a comfortable depth, and even then, the gases will equalise, and after a couple of days of constant weather, whether it's a high barometer or a low barometer, the fish have adapted. High pressure systems are a great time to fish. There's less wind, there's clear water, it's a bright sunny day, a great time to be on the water. A low pressure system is the opposite. It's windy, it's rainy, it's got dirty water, and even an increase in tidal heights. For every drop of one hectopascal, the sea level rises a centimetre. So even in real low pressure systems, if you've got more current coming in, Fishing becomes tougher and it's harder to feel the bites in the strong wind and the strong currents. So is it really the fish that don't like that low barometer? Or is it the fishermen? Definitely not the fish. I've got to say, I'm just not convinced it's the fish that don't like it. This guy didn't have a problem grabbing that Zurich vibe, that's for sure. It's close season, so I'll put him back, but don't let the low barometer fool you. Fish love it. Mm -hmm.